How is it going boys and girls, Darb guy here, and today we are playing Tsukiyomi because this god is awesome. I love Tsukiyomi. I play him in Conquest in solo lane. I go uh, Bluestone, Runeforged into, right now I'm going Berserkers, which might seem really odd, but it fucking goes hard, okay? You gotta trust me. Berserkers goes hard into Glad Shield, and you just kind of, you do so well. And he's also really good in duel, in the right hands, so I want to learn him in duel. Um, so that's gonna take a little bit to figure out how exactly to play him. We'll put a point into everything. But today is Thanksgiving, and I hope you all had an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, the day you're watching this, if you're watching this on the day it goes up, is the day after Thanksgiving. Which means, I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. But I'm recording this Thanksgiving night. Uh, mine was pretty good. I went to my sister's. I helped prepare the turkey and all the food, and we ate. Hung out for a bit, and it was fun. I recorded a TikTok with my family, actually. Which I can't say I've ever done before. It was that fuck, Mary kill thing on um, Disney characters. It was pretty funny. We had one where me and my brother-in-law had to agree. And what did we do? We... We kissed some um, guy I didn't even know because we had to because we killed no we married Barry B Benson because he's a celebrity and has so much money and we kissed some other girl I have no idea I don't even, I didn't know half the characters on there I don't watch Disney movies who is funny I might post it on Twitter if you're not already go follow the Twitter I post like once to twice a day. Random things. There's no way you get that yet. Alright, if he dives it on me, I'd be able to kill him. And there we go, first blood. Um, which means he's not gonna have ult. I mean, he's not gonna have Aegis for ult. I don't think I can do red, though. Can I? How much damage do I do? Yeah, not enough. If I stay, I die. He might lose. He might get red buff. Or he might believe that I did it, and he leaves Red Buff thinking that it's already down. And that'd be pretty sick, I'd love that. We'll get our blue. Pray for the best. We're a kill up already though, which feels nice, because I will be... Full transparency. I lost the last two games. As Tsukiyomi. I'm 0-2 as Tsukiyomi right now. Um, they were both against Hebo, which doesn't feel good. I know Hebo is supposed to be really weak right now, and maybe I just don't know how to play against him, but I feel like he had better wave clear than Tsukiyomi, he um, had better poke than Tsukiyomi, and Tsukiyomi is supposed to be the poke god, so I didn't really know how to play the matchup. We're definitely going to need to beat stick this game, because this was, this was also the Hebo. This is the Hebo that I lost 1-3 to. This is all... That was a bad ult by me. But this is the first Hebo I lost to. I was doing so good up until like the 7 minute mark. And then my... And then I ulted him. And then he ulted back. And then we both all hit everything. And then he won the trade from it. We were the exact same. He had an, unsta an unstacked Book of Thoth. I had an unstacked Soul Eater. And he just did more damage. His abilities just did more damage. What are you doing? Okay, nice juke. <coughs> we'll back at our full transcendence. The other two games, I went so later both games. And I kind of regretted it. Which, by that I mean one game I just died. Second game I died two minutes into the game. Because I dodged all of the, like, he casted ten abilities, and I'd say I dodged at least six of them. And I hit, like, eight out of my ten abilities that I used on him. And then he ulted me, and it did 330 damage, and I was not ready for that. 
So I lost two games to Hebo. I still don't know how that matchup would go. Okay, I tried to catch his get dash, but he didn't dash. I guess he was just trying to bring that minion to me to stun me. I still can only hit autos with flicking. I said that in my Medusa Monday video. Why did I beads? Why did I beads? I didn't need to beads, bro. I'm choking. I still get so nervous when I play duel. I don't know why. Like, my hands shake. And if I ever go down early, if I, like, die early, my hands, like, go numb because they're shaking so much and I don't know why. I've never been as nervous. Like, I've literally... I've done so much. And nothing made me makes me as nervous as logging into the duel. I don't know why. It's kind of fucking sad if I'm being honest. I'm sure, hopefully that feeling goes away with time. Imagine if I'm permanently always nervous to get on and play duel. That'd be a little sad. But Tsukiyomi is just good because um, he has really good range spoke. And his ult's really strong. He has a stun and a disarm in his too. I just need to learn how to play him. Matchups that I was worried about would be matchups against like Herc and Anubis. Just because I feel like Suki probably wouldn't do that well into them. Maybe I'm wrong. That was my thought process. But it seems, I, unless I'm just playing it wrong, that I have a really hard time into Hebo as Tsukiyomi too. Basuki's just good because he can poke people down really easily. That's his strongest. Um, that's his strength. That's the word I was looking for. This guy is a Hebo one trick though, but I banned Hebo this game. He banned Olderon, which let me not have to ban Olderon, I think, or he banned Scotty or AMC. He banned one of the six gods that I always ban. I always go Bologna into Bakasura into AMC, Scotty, Uller, Oleron. So he banned at least one of them. And I took that opportunity to say fuck you, Hebo, because I'm I've lost to two Hebos today. Am I dead to that? I'm fucking dead to that. You have been slain. I didn't have bees for result. I should have been more careful. I thought I could have killed anyways though with my one. That's a shame. Should be no problem though. I don't think I'm that worried. He's ahead of me? I have two kills, two red buffs, two blue buffs. And he's ahead of me. In gold and XP. Bro, you're so fucking greedy. Back. Holy shit. He lived that because I missed. If I had ult up, he dies, though. He's so greedy. Can't go for his blue, because if I do, I die. My ult could be pretty good into his, but he's only going to ult after my ult. And if he gets low enough, my ult wins the fight no matter what. In theory. I'm also double stacking, because double stacking feels really good right now. And a lot of the people that beat me... Go double stacking on mage and on physical. If they go trans, soul eater on physical, and thoth warlocks on any magical. That's what both Thebos built. Thebos, Hebos built. I thought Hebo was like worthlessly bad, but he just outpokes Tsukiyomi early game. The guy was landing everything and dodging abilities, but it didn't matter. So it seems to be pretty good though. Double stacking before trip, before defense in some cases. I wasn't doing it against a Hebo. Because, like, I think Hebo's just a. Uh, it's not gonna work a second time, buddy. I didn't think you were smart enough to pull it off the first time. That's why he caught me off guard. But Hebo just does a lot of early game damage and then he should fall off late game. But I don't know. I just, I just don't know how to play against him.
Yeah, so his plan is just to... He's, he's leveling potions, by the way. His plan is just to sit there and heal off potions the entire game. But we're getting beat stick fourth item. So I'm not worried about that at all. I'm really bad at saving potions, but... Yeah, at this point, I'm gonna use them all anyways. Luckily, he can't land the heart bomb, or we'd be a lot better of a spot. Worse of a spot. Batter's not a fucking word, moron. I'm lagging, I think. I just teleported a bit. We can back and get our breastplate. Actually, if we back, we lose red, so we have to stay. I'm gonna just hardcore poke him down here. Cupid Alt is getting nerfed on the 29th as well. They're nerfing Dodgy, Sukiyomi. No, not Sukiyomi. Imagine if they fucking nerf Sukiyomi. They're nerfing Dodgy, Cupid. And who else are they nerfing? I actually, I don't know. I can't think of it. They're nerfing one other god. I think both, all three of the gods did need nerfed in Conquest. This kid is going for my tower right now. All right. He probably lives because I don't have all. Okay, he definitely dies if he does that. I need to stop his back because I have alt in two seconds. Vegas stone. Of course he has fucking uses everything there. And his ult. Okay, luckily he can't land a singular auto to save his life. I don't know the range of Tsukiyomi ult. I feel like it goes so far, but then I use it and it goes nowhere sometimes. I'm gonna poke this a couple little bit. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. We should probably just back. Get our beat stick started. Once we get this beat stick, his healing should mean absolutely nothing. We'll also go sprint just to run out of his ult. So I feel like that's literally his only kill potential. His plan is just to Hit wave, try to heart bomb me if the heart bomb lands, alt if the heart, bo heart bomb misses to run away. I do like playing this character though. He is really fun, so I do want to get better on him. I'm just making sure he's not doing bull demon, because he's the type of player to PvE, I'm sure. Why are you stepped up that far? Okay, there we go. We played that so perfectly. Sorry, I wasn't talking. I was focusing. We hit literally everything, I think. I have to wait. These minions are going to die before the others get there. I might have to play Hebo, though. Because usually, I learned how to play against Hebo due to you guys. Thank you all for that, by the way. And due to playing against people as Hera. Then I learned that you can just go crit lifesteal and use Argus to your advantage. I mean, she can go divine, but healing's not the most important part. It's just for extra sustain. Because Hera is a very snowball god. I feel like you're if you're even with Hera, I don't know actually. I think Hera is just cringe as fuck. Get our beat stick and start going into a Hydras for the extra damage on our autos after and the penetration mainly. Jinx is joining me right now. He's sitting beside me. I actually have my arm around him, and I moved. That's why he growled. B 
beats his ult, and he's gonna try to run away. Maybe I could catch him with my two. I don't know if beats stick on him, and his entire game plan is just to heal off potions the entire game. That's a shame that didn't hit. You could tell this guy would play Sebo from the way he's playing Cupid. And he's so greedy, I guarantee he I guarantee you he is going to stay and die for it. You thought I was wrong, didn't you? I have ult in ten, and if he stays he dies. Oh, he wasn't even a stun. I sprinted for no reason. So he just walks in a straight line, that's his dupe. It's also very easy to get his dash down. We can get his blue, get our blue back for Hydra's. Or you can just back now maybe. I don't know which is better. I saw a clip of Sam the Dude, and he was talking about Tsukiyomi, and I also didn't know a Tsukiyomi was God of, and he's like, what is Tsukiyomi God of? He clicks on it, and it says God of the Moon, and the first thing he fucking says is, I hope they don't add Groove to the game, because he fucking shrunk the moon in Despicable Me. I don't know why, that joke was so good. It was such a stupid joke, but it was so funny at the same time, and I think about it every time now. He left a fucking imprint of Tsukiyomi on my mind. You just need to make sure he does not get our phoenix. Sad thing about playing against hunters, I'm 4 to 1 and we're equal. In objectives. I actually don't know how strong or, uh, late game Tsukiyomi is. See, so trying to sneak over to Bull Demon. No, I don't know what he's doing. He's a third wave again, I guess. That's got his dash. He did that way too late. I'm gonna try to ult my ult like usual. I'm gonna beads it, and that's my fight. Never mind, I missed my one. Now he runs. Like I said, you can tell this guy plays Hebo. He plays very linear. You can tell exactly what he's gonna do. I'm gonna hit this a bit, then he's gonna come over and try to steal. He's gonna miss his heart bomb, and he's gonna run away. And I'm gonna chase him down. I'm gonna have to ult to get out of here, or sprint. This is a very cheese strategy against the Tsukiyomi too. But, I feel like I have no problem winning this match. He lands about 1 out of, like what, 13, 14 autos? Broski has a 2.5 attack speed and hits about an auto every 6 seconds. He did bull demon. Which is a shame. He's such a greedy player, it's crazy. I think this is a really good Suki build though. I didn't really get it from anyone, this is just how I'm going off it. Hydra's does work on my ranged autos, right? It has to. It's just a ranged auto. Look at that poke. I 
Okay, it does, I think. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna back, we're gonna... Hey, who the fuck is drinking water? Jinx, you drink so loud, bro. Back, we'll upgrade our relics. I'm actually using... Um, I'm actually using my relics really good this game. Usually, I die without using my relics because I'm stupid. But this game, I've been using them to get kills. And I'm doing good with it. Your red buff get the... Is this still 25% uh, extra damage? Because that's pretty huge, bro. That's pretty good. You know, I'm not gonna say that's bad because it's just not bad. I got some sourdough pretzels beside me, and I really want to eat them. But they're really loud. Yeah, he's dead. Oops. That should be game, it is. <laughs> it was a fun match, I won't lie.